Hey, Oi, you ready? Oi. Scary what? Everyone's I... waiting for our next video. Come on, let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. As you see, Oi was hard at work in front of the computer watching her Thai YouTube videos. And I was watching a comic. You're watching a comic? Okay. Yeah, let's go. As I was saying, she was watching Thai YouTube videos, not my YouTube videos, or Rodrigo's YouTube videos, which is so disappointing. But Kim's the only one that watches our videos, right, in the family? And I also subscribe. And you also subscribe. You hear that? I have an account. Thumbs up for the subscriber. All right, come on, guys. You want to come, right? Come on. Okay, we have to be really quiet. I want to show you something. It's something I always catch the rays doing, but they don't like to let me see them do it. So we have to go. We have to come quietly. Come on. 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 See? Oh, see they. He went down. Oh, he's flying. See the stingray? He likes to fly. Okay, see, he got spooked. Okay, but if we stay still. Hey, Kim, stay here. Look, he's gonna come back up. See? He doesn't realize that we're still filming him, but we caught him. Okay, he likes to fly. Okay. And then there's another one right there, the one on the wall. She likes to fly also, or surf, but I guess she's not doing it right now. Like, come on, come on, come on. There's one more right there. Over there, or. Over there, oh, look. Okay. So we got another surfing thing right Oh, look, look, over here, look, see? We walked away, and look, the big one came out and started surfing right there. You see? They like to do this when we're not, or when they think we're not watching. All right, go back to this one. This one's really cool. Like this, this one's always surfing. Let's get really close. The color on this thing is amazing. And then there's one more over here. One more. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. Right there. Get over the top. So they all like to surf or fly or swim, whatever you guys want to call it, but it's pretty cool. All right. Back to over here. All right, guys. So now on to today's episode. Come on. I have this tank over here. And uh, I noticed the other day that there are two females that are pregnant and they're quite full. I actually don't know the approximate due date on these two because I don't know when they were mated. But their hump or their back is pretty full and I think it's gonna be any day now. What am I gonna do? Come, everyone, show, show everyone. Look at how many rays are in this tank is a lot of rays in here okay it's quite crowded let me come around and show you it's very full even all the cages are full and underneath the cages everywhere every corner of this tank this is probably the most heavily stocked tank in my whole facility right now and surprisingly the tank is doing really well the rays are eating very well but because it is heavily stocked. I don't feed them as much as they can eat, okay? In attempts to control the water quality and keep the balance. But now the issue is, because there are pregnant fish in here, I am concerned that when they give birth, the larger rays might think that the little pups are food, right? Because we saw, and we're gonna learn from what happened with the Bosmanis on the other side, they were disappearing on me and I finally figured out that the Bosmanis were not getting enough food. So I already know this tank is underfed. So in anticipation for that, I wanna pull the female up into this cage and let them give birth in this cage. The benefit there is I'm able to save the pups from any, uh, what's the word, horrific accident, you know, or, 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 or getting eaten, okay? But the downside is the males won't be able to mate her right away because typically that's what happens. Once the females give birth, they sense the hormones in the water and the male know exactly which females to mate. I will lose that, but I think it's more important to keep the babies alive and healthy. And I can always release the female back and hopefully the males will be able to still figure it out. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I gotta take this male 
throw him back into this larger cage over here, mm -hmm. free up this cage and catch the other fish, all right? So let's get going. All right, guys, for this move, I'm just gonna use the net and carry it right over because first of all, it's a male and he's not pregnant, so he's not carrying anything. So I don't have to worry about the weight of, of lifting him out of the water, uh, uh, affecting anything, okay? For those of you guys with a sharp eye and wondering what the hell is this rock and piece of plastic doing here, okay, this ray likes to spit water, okay? And because he's a larger ray, he can spit the water really, really far. And every morning I come and the floor's all wet over here. This tank on this side is all wet, all the way to the other side, because he's launching the water across the room. So I put this shield here with this rock so that when he spits, it just hits the shield and goes back down, okay? So just sometimes you just gotta figure out a way to work things out. Sometimes these animals are just smarter than humans because you know what he started doing? He started spitting that way, okay? And boy, did that piss me off. So he started coming up this side and shooting water across that way. But I wasn't as concerned about that because I didn't have another tank over there and, and water cross-contaminating and whatnot. So I let him spit all he wants the other way. But now he's gonna go over here. Hopefully he won't start spitting, but then I'm gonna have to put another shield over here. But for now, we're just gonna scoop him over. Now this guy was problematic for me before, which is why he's in this cage by himself. He was mean or aggressive against these other uh, rays in this cage and chewed up a lot of the fish. If you guys remember, that, that ray right there was chewed up really badly once before, and I had to separate it to heal, to heal the fish up. But since I figured out who the culprit is, I'd rather separate the culprit. So I'm trying to do this carefully and not spook him, because if I spook him, he's gonna release something into the water that's gonna start sending panic through all the other rays down on the bottom as well. And we don't want to do that just before I'm going to catch the female and move it up here. But he's not being cooperative. He's not getting under the net. Come on. Okay, there we go. Got him. Okay, watch out, boy. He's going to splash. I know he's going to splash. Okay, okay. Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. So softly. Oh. Ooh. There you go. Not that bad, right? <laughs> Okay, so he's in. He's right there in the corner. That's Ian. Yeah. He's coming okay. towards me. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to find the female, and I'm probably going to have to put it in this container. So you stay over there, Roy, and I'll work from this side. I'm not going to touch this one. Yeah, don't touch it. I'm just going to here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All this rippling, I can't tell which one it is. I think it's that one right there. <laughs> okay, okay, let me try. Wait, baby. He's feisty. Now, the only reason why I noticed this because uh, yesterday when I was doing a water change, the pump was off. See, typically it's rippling like this, so I can't see it. And I saw the big swollen belly. So are you it? Yeah. It looks like it. The belly's not as full. I think this is the one. I guess the belly's not as full as I thought, so maybe it's only moderately um, through the through the gestation. Okay, I'm gonna walk this thing over. They move around and could get wet. Oh yeah, now I can tell. Because uh, in the net it was dipped downwards. We couldn't really tell. Yeah. I know. I think it's going to jump on our face. Yeah. Okay, careful. Come on. Uh, move back. If you don't want this, now move back. Daddy coming. Yeah, I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to do it. Move back, move back. There we go. Okay, I'm going to sit this back in here first. Okay, now you guys can see the belly. You see it? It's actually sticking out of the water, the hump. Yeah. Whereas the rest of the ray is beneath the water. So definitely, 
as I suspected, it is pregnant. Like I said, I don't know how far along the pregnancy it is. I can't even make a guess as to how many pups are inside. This is uh, something that I've been uh, waiting for um, for a little bit now. These are actually albino uh, hets. So they're carrying the albino gene and hopefully, hopefully, keep my fingers crossed, I will get a couple of albino hybrids um, out of this, okay? Uh, a lot of people are calling these albino hybrids Red Lucy's. I don't know if I'm gonna follow that naming convention. I will wait to see what the pups look like before I decide how to name them. But basically a Red Lucy is an albino hybrid. So once again, I'll let you take a look at this one, okay? I actually think there is one more in here. Let me take a look and see if I find it. It's the only thing is, I'm just worried that it might be too tight for two rays in this cage. But maybe I'll try and put them in here and see how uh, the dynamics are in the cage. I, I know for those of you watching the video, you might say, oh, it's being cruel, it's really tight um, in that space. But ultimately, the quality of life is in the water quality itself. So as long as I'm maintaining good water quality, the fish should be all right even though it's a little bit tight. My concern really is when they want to give birth, they might need some space to move around and swim to help uh, birth the pups. So that would be my concern. But until I get that other braid in here, uh, I won't be able to make that decision. So let's look for that one and try to catch that one as well. All right, and you stay here, Kim. Let me go around to the other side. Oh, I'm gonna careful. give you directions. Huh? I'm gonna give you directions. Sure. Okay. Which one are you catching? I have to find it first. Let me see where it they is. They all look like the same thing. They all look like the same thing. <laughs> yes, but I saw the fish yesterday, so I remember which one it is. It's one with with a lot of little spots. It doesn't have like weird pattern. Like that one looks like it has, it has a lot of star spots. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. I don't want to scoop them. I'm going very slowly. I see. There's this one down I here. I see it. I it's see one, one running right over there. It's this one. Is the one running? No. Yes. Okay. Now, see, the okay. only thing is this one's a little bit I bigger than that one that we just caught. So that would be my concern. Here we go. You got it. Yes, I got it. You got it, Captain. Go. Go down, Mr. Stingray. Don't stop. Yeah, it's going to spit on you. Okay. Now, what I want to do, which I should have did in that one, was I want to clip the spine. Oh look, everyone's freaking out. Take it easy. Take it easy. Everyone's that one's spinning out. I know no. Just stay calm. Everyone started freaking out a little bit. He like literally like that. He's swagging the whole down. This one, the hump is a little bit bigger than the other one. He's swag swag. So this one might be further He's along so funny. in the pregnancy. He's swaggy. Okay, I just don't want to drop it. Be careful. Watch out. Okay, here we go. Okay, we need to get the clipper for the spine. All right, let's show everyone the fish first. Okay, go get the clipper. So as you can see, this one, the hump is sticking out as well. Okay, and it's more pronounced than the first one. So either she's carrying more pups or she's further along in the pregnancy process these are heads as well oh, this one is a head as well and you can see that one you can see the pattern is very different this looks more like um, a motoro like but really it's albino um, pearl genetics crossed with other hybrids uh, like a super spot hybrid so there is some motoro bloodline in there as well okay oh here take this Kim here you go, scalpel okay it's not a scalpel it's a clipper Okay. You go, Mr. Stingray. So you see this one has been flipping the tail around a lot more. Oh, careful. I know. Why don't you not drop this bone? Okay, Kim, let, let me pay attention to what I'm doing first. I'm watching you. Oh. Ooh, that's feisty. Yes, he is feisty. Oh, you may, you hear that noise? Yeah. He went rrr, rrr. Okay. <laughs> so that one's feisty over there. Mm -hmm. So, well, no, this one's very feisty. And he doesn't want to let me cut the spine, so let's let it calm down for a second. Okay, so as you guys can tell, the pearl bloodline is strong in this one, which is why... He literally splashed 
it's reacting like this. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, calm down. Stand down. Yes, he's not happy right now. Yes, he is not happy, or she's not happy. Okay, so I mean, I'm gonna be persistent about cutting this spine and the reason is because they're going in such a confined cage that that I don't want any accidents to happen no 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 I have to cut the spine because if they freak out in here they might poke each other because it's very tight all right she finally calmed down oh where did it go did it hit you did it fly across? Yes. Okay, Kim, come back to this side. All right, I didn't know you were over there. So you saw, I don't know if we're able to see that, but we talked about this before when we're cutting the spine, especially when it's above the water line, it can shoot across the room. So you gotta be really careful about that. Is it over there? Yeah, I don't know where it going. I thought it hit the wall. Yeah. Last time we did something like that, it flew across and hit the wall also. Lucky it didn't hit you in your face. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Alright guys. We're lucky Kim didn't get hit. Uh, we're lucky Kim didn't get hit in the face with the spine. Uh, oh, it's on that side. It went that way. That way? I know. You thought it went that way? Yeah, my, I was here to that because it turned out. Well, I saw Kim make the face. Yeah. Oh, it's over there? I heard it. Okay, come closer. Show everyone. You see guys? where it ended up all the way across here. from here it flew all the way to over there behind there. The, those filters over there all right so you guys got to be careful when doing this at home okay so let's take a look at the situation here so that's the tub i mean it's okay i think for now and uh, we'll see how they feed tomorrow and how they move around right now they're stressed but um, I do think this is the best solution right now. I had considered putting it in here in this bigger cage, but I have four animals here and I do not want to release these guys down there um, into uh, to mix with them and, and have uncontrolled breeding. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Please, you know what to say at the end? I forgot. Stand up, what are you afraid of? Oh, you're so shy now. You were in so many videos before. We want to tell everyone to like, like share, sus share, subscribe. Look at them. Like, share, like, and sus share, subscribe to our channel. To our channel. Okay. Even Rodrigo's channel. Even Rodrigo's channel. Okay. And Paul's. And Paul's channel. Okay. So she's <laughs> promoting for everybody. Okay. All right. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Take care. Beep. <laughs>